stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it and this should be something special on the pitch. Live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the magnificent Estadio Dalush, the home stadium of Benfica, who today entertain the great rivals, Sporting. I'm Derek Ray and with me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Stuart, this is always an enthralling spectacle. It certainly is and I think this will be a tight game. Both sides have some excellent quality in midfield, but who will be able to impose themselves on the game? The first 20 minutes will be really important. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Well, although we had it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Strongly to win the ball. Well, using the space really well. But now can they push on? And still a chance. And a goal at the second time of asking. But the keeper has let his team down. Well, here it is again, and I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper, you have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone, and at this level, you're always going to be punished. decided to play advantage of the Mendy Di Maria now Rafa excellent assessment of the situation at the back well very effective play in possession but really sticking to the task defensively was the chance they could get caught out on the break here and he's hit it with authority and it's come off the keeper and the referee has given them a corner and he decided to let the play flow but now he's going to issue a yellow card yeah I think that's good referee he tried to play the advantage about the delivery and the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery his ball all the way this might have potential and options in the center magnificent challenge to win it back Paulinho the defenders, though, you can't really allow space like that. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Yeah. 
Now can they counter clinically? Crossing opportunity. Can they keep it going? Oh, miscontrolling the ball and a goal kick to come. be a Benfica ball and losing possession Rafa and passing it through and it's a goal level again what a match this is turning out to be Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Back on the way, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Mateus Reis. Nuno Santos. And he read it superbly. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Defenders need to cover. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Room for sporting here. Options in the middle. Oh, it's a superb challenge. Very timely. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Plenty of support here. But quick thinking defensively. Jukeres. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Wonderful block. One block after another. And a substitution in the offing. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Maria and able to close down the shots 
They will now make use of their substitutes bench. It's a short one. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Cow. Strong but fair tackle. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, he's admonished him rather than cautioning him. Well, spot on from the referee. He's made it clear. Another foul and he will get a yellow card. And he's clear his lines. Foul there. Free kick awarded. about that free kick I'm afraid wasteful from Sporting room to manoeuvre on the wing and it's still on and well positioned to clear 30 minutes left for play Edwards, Victor Jukeres. Oh, this is looking promising. And no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. What can Sporting do from this position? It's still there for him. Ball is loose. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches. Crowd certainly think so. Going short. Laid into the center. Making sure nothing untoward happened. 20 minutes remaining. And Sporting can use width to good effect. Let's see about the cross. And a decent save. Full credit. Well, they've decided to make a change. Played over. Well, that was never likely to trouble the keeper. Di Maria. Di Maria. This could square the game. But the keeper has a say. And how important. 
could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. And played short. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. He has teammates around him. This could level it. But denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. Nuno Santos. And out of play for a sporting throw-in. Attacking possibilities for Sporting here. And they've given back possession easily. Now, uh, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. And the ball is loose. And the angle wasn't all that favourable, but he didn't let that bother him, did he? Well, really close. But were there better options? Well, nearing full time, and here's the question, are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been close, but I'm not sure... They can... In it goes! To increase their advantage! And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway. 3-1 the score. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Nicely timed tackle. A move of promise on the flank. He could pick out a teammate. Rafa. And there we have it. Opportunity squandered. And it might have sealed their fate. Uh, what a chance. I'm not sure they're going to get many more now. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.